It's Sunday today. Um, very chill day in terms of eating, like no restrictions, whatever. Uh, just having my coffee. I actually got some takeout from the breakfast club. Um, it's kind of lazy today. <laughs> I'll cook later on, but sometimes I do indulge in a bit of delivery service. Thank you, Deliveroo. Um, I ordered a couple of things. I'm just gonna put it all onto a plate. I do have to make some eggs though, because I didn't get any eggs. Um, and yeah, just put it together and see you in a bit for brunch because it's definitely, what time is it? Mm, 12. <laughs> Can we just appreciate how cute this is? Aww. I think it's safe to say that this breakfast is brunch is very indulgent and it's comfort food at its best well well what are sundays for so i'm just going to tuck into this massive american slash british breakfast um let's see if i can finish it nine out of ten times i can't okay but i'm gonna go enjoy it now <laughs> Also just want to point out that I always have ketchup with sausages and hash browns and obviously we cannot forget maple syrup for le pancake. I definitely feel like a school kid again with these packaged drinks. Like, you know, the ones you put inside a lunchbox. Guess who's hungry again? This girl right here. Uh, time for dinner. I'm going to do a homestyle Korean barbecue. I think it's called kogi meat yeah um not much to prepare everything i pretty much already have in the fridge um it either just needs serving up or reheating so the rice needs reheating and i'm gonna wash my vegetables and for my beef i just need to slice it and then pan fry it and i've also got to make my sauces um but it's just it's super simple and i will be done in like 10-15 minutes. I'm excited. I would like to draw your attention however to this which is my homemade kimchi. I much prefer fresh kimchi to pre-packaged ones just because it's less acidic and it's spicier. So yes I made my own. I'm gonna be one of those like Korean mothers when I grow up. It needs two fridges, one for like preserved vegetables and kimchi and then the other just as a regular refrigerator. <laughs>
time to eat. Um, I am so excited. I'm taking a sesame or perilla leaf, one or the other. I'll, I'll write the correct one somewhere here. Um, and then a little bit of rice. A little bit of samjang, which is just a mix of gochujang and tengjang paste. It's like hot pepper paste and soybean paste. I added a few other things just to thin it out and make it a bit more of a balanced flavor profile. And then a piece of beef. I'm actually going to dip a little bit into the sesame salt black pepper mixture. Lay it on top. Okay, now time to see if I can put the whole thing into my mouth. Uh, okay, good luck. I am one very content child. <laughs> um, time for some banchan. It tastes even better than the day, not on the day when I made it. Happy times. It probably looks like a lot of food. Probably is a lot of food. But this is one of those meals which I can actually finish everything of that I make, strangely enough. So stay tuned and see how I do with my dinner today. I could honestly eat this meal all the time and not get bored of it. Also, it's pretty healthy if you think about it. This is so unflattering, but... I actually finished everything. Wow. Hello. Just wanted to say, um... Thank you for getting to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed today's Why Eat In A Day, Sunday edition. Um, good food, happy life. Uh, I am content. I really want dessert, but I'm trying to control the sugar craving. <laughs> um, anyways, I will see you in my next video and have a good week. Bye. Please follow me on Instagram. I've got the food Instagram. And then I've also got, uh, got my main Instagram.